Joining us is Dr. Helene Heitjema, co-founder and chair of the Doctors for Nutrition Board and National Senator Susan MacDonald, who is also a former butcher and farmer. Thank you so much for joining us this evening on the program for our final debate of the night. Uh, Helene, we'll start with you. So would you... Uh, what, what's your diet? Do you... What are you, vegan? Plant-based. I call plant -based. it whole food plant-based. There's a distinction between okay. vegan and whole food plant-based. OK, so plant-based. Whole food plant-based means that you eat whole plant foods and vegan can mean that you eat also a lot of junk food. OK, but so... But it is plants only. But So it's plants only. Yeah. So explain to us then, why do you think that meat is bad for the planet? Meat has several issues for the planet. It's not just climate change or greenhouse gases. It has also to do with land use, it has to do with water usage and water pollution, deforestation. So if we look at globally, the meat is responsible for about 20% of greenhouse gases, which is more than all transportation together. Mm -hmm. And um, the greenhouse gas emissions from animal-based foods are about twice of that of plant-based foods. Mm -hmm. And if you then look at land use, it's very inefficient because 83% of all agricultural land produces only 18% of our calories. Okay. So if the whole world would went plant-based, then we would um, cut out land use by 75%. Right. Okay. And globally, all the grain, 50% of all the grain that's fed to animals, we could feed an extra 3 to 4 billion people. Okay. So inefficiency as well. OK, so they're quite they're some interesting statistics, mm. Susan. Uh, is that a fair argument, that we need to take emissions of the carbon footprint into consideration when we are purchasing our red meat? No, well, it's a crazy discussion, isn't it? And because uh, for a range of reasons, I mean, the first is that over, you know, hundreds of thousands of years, humans have developed to be an omnivore diet. Meat works well for us. We know that in bush tucker and we know that in the meat that we, or the food that we crave. But there are a number of misconceptions and mistruths, I'm afraid, with some of the arguments that have been raised. And uh, the nature.com has, has raised some really good uh, uh, discussions about the reports that have been tabled with Eat Lancet and the Global, uh, Global Burden of Disease Centre uh, about some of the bias, some of the miscalculations, some of the oversights on discussions around bionutrition uh, availability, about micronutrients that are available from meat mm -hmm. that just don't come to us from plants. Yeah. But uh, oh, there so are also... Yeah. Um, yeah, the micronutrients in animals come from plants. The animals that we eat are vegans, you know, they are herbivores. Right. So the, the nutrients in the animals come from the plants, so we could skip the middleman, the middle animal, right. and source it directly I from the I guess the, the plants. point is, is that humans get it better, the, the availability comes better from meat. But I don't want to get into a debate over the medical side, that is your expertise, and, and Australians are exhausted by this debate. But what I can tell you is that Australian farmers, some of the, the, um, the talk about land use, mm. we are a rangelands economy. We are a rangelands environment. We have places where it is not suitable to grow crops. Mm -hmm. It is best used to grow animals, who okay. are one of the greatest converters of carbon sequestration. One yeah. kilo of meat equates to 50 kilograms of carbon sequestered. Where is that right. in the debate? All right, oh, let's go to the jury. Uh, mm. Lily, do you eat meat? I'm actually a vegan okay. and I'm from a farming family. So well, so you're a vegan but you've come from a farming a family. How, do, how does that work? It's hard, it's yeah. hard. But um, I don't know, as, as you just mentioned, I think Australia is tired of hearing we're not meant to eat meat. I think everyone should have a choice. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, of course, yeah. a balanced diet includes a lot of vegetables and fruits. I think that's wonderful. I think that should be encouraged, especially mm -hmm. to the younger generations. Mm -hmm. um, but I just think at the end of the day, everyone has a choice. And if Australia is saying we want meat to stay around, that's mm. that's on them. They're allowed yeah. to have that opinion. Hello, what do you think yeah. about that? Is it overreach to be now expecting us? We, we talk about sugar, we talk about fatty foods, yeah. and now we've yeah. got to go Let's... into this climate debate when it comes to red meat. The weight of the evidence, yeah? Animal-based foods are pro-inflammatory. They cause, over time, it takes decades. When you get heart disease at 50, that is like 30 years in the making, and you don't know. 
Same with type 2 diabetes. So it's pro-inflammatory leading to chronic diseases. So Talking why for instance do we have about... then doctors, though, like our Australian of the Year, Dr James Mukey, yep. uh, who um, has spoken about in favour of red meat in All the right. diet, yep. okay. and Dr Dr Gary Fetke for the same reasons. Right. Yes, good we've, for you. Uh, unfortunately, we've yes. run out of time. But look, let's. Go, I want to, I'm very keen to know what the jury thinks about this. You've both had your say. Let's go to the jury now. The question is, should meat be banned to save the planet? You have 10 seconds. Seconds to deliberate. Jury members, what have you decided? All of you have said no, you do not want to see red meat bad to save the planet. Alan, why not? Are you a meat eater? I can't give up my meat to save the planet. No. I don't I just don't think it'll it will make a, it'll make it'll be good for the planet. Fair enough. We've got ten seconds left, Julie. No. Oh yes, we're going to be eating meat tonight yeah. um, <laughs> and enjoying it. Um, look, let's. This is just ridiculous. Uh, look, fa look fair ridiculous. enough. Fair yes. enough. It's an interesting debate. Helene Heitjama and Susan McDonald. Thank, thank you so you. much for joining us.